Peace and love, y'all. It's your man, Manny Faces. If you're new, peace. Welcome. If you've been here for a minute, you'll see I'm doing something a little bit different. But don't worry. I still have the world's most important hip-hop podcast. The world's most enlightening hip-hop live stream show. The world's most informative hip-hop newsletter. And my Patreon page if you want to help support any or all of these endeavors. This video is actually adapted from an op-ed of mine that they published in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution this past November. It was basically titled, America Still Misunderstands the Power of Hip-Hop. And I wrote it during the end of the Hip-Hop 50 celebrations that were running rampant throughout the, the year that didn't always really give a great impression of hip-hop. To be honest, a lot of music, not a lot of culture, a lot of rap, not a lot of other elements, et cetera, et cetera. So I wrote this in response, and I want to share it with you all today because I think it's important as we go into 2024 how we, especially people who love and care for hip-hop music and culture and say we want the best for it, should keep in mind as we go forward. So let's go. This year is widely celebrated as the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, reflecting a symbolic starting point. On August 11, 1973, Bronx Dance Party, organized by Cindy Campbell and DJed by her brother Clive Campbell, a.k.a. Cool Herc. Now, while no artistic, cultural, or social movement can ever be whittled down to a single origin point, this date has been widely accepted as as good a birthday as any. And festivities abounded throughout the year, including a massive concert event at New York's Yankee Stadium. Hundreds of other jamborees popped up nationwide and, in some cases, throughout the world. And media? Media enthusiastically jumped on the bandwagon. News programs and platforms highlighted the anniversary while streaming networks and podcast companies uh, premiered documentaries or short-run shows highlighting historical figures and events from over the past five decades. Legacy institutions jumped in, hosting conferences and launching exhibits. Even the United States government got in on the action, including a big old bash at Vice President Kamala Harris's residence and United States House Resolution H.R. 602, which declares hip-hop's genesis an important moment on America's historical timeline. More on that later. I had something to do with it. Now, some of these events recognized hip-hop's cultural expansiveness beyond the rap music genre it's ubiquitously known for, and included other elements that fall under hip-hop's artistic umbrella, most notably turntablism, DJing, breaking, breakdancing, and graffiti, visual art. However, most did not. These aspects of hip-hop art are well-documented, studied in academia, highlighted by prestigious cultural organizations, and are practiced at high levels throughout the world. Yet, across the entertainment landscape, and even in hip-hop's own circles, they receive far less attention than rap, hip-hop's most front-facing and lucrative export. Now, don't get me wrong, celebrations focused on the genre are certainly important. Still, the overall omission of other culturally important artistic elements could certainly lead casual observers to believe that in 50 years, all hip-hop really produced was rap music. Now, it doesn't really take much sleuthing to find evidence of excellence in these disciplines, such as the annual DMC World DJ Championship, any number of graffiti exhibitions in art spaces or libraries or museums, or the fact that in 2024, breaking will debut as an Olympic sport. Still, to fully appreciate this golden anniversary, we must consider that hip-hop's greatest contribution to humanity isn't any of its singular or collective elements. Instead, it lies in hip-hop's intersection with other aspects of the human experience and how its unique artistic, cultural, and social characteristics create powerful new tools to help uplift lives, livelihoods, and entire communities. For instance, hip-hop inspired pedagogical programs like Science Genius. Everybody know we do it all for the high school state. Uh, the whole audience couldn't be silenced when they hear y'all dropping all that knowledge and spitting all of that science. That's right. And so now, I'm, I'm more excited than anybody else is going to Let's get this thing started. First group. Demonstrate notable increases in student interest and engagement, knowledge retention, and grades. School counselors and psychologists extolling therapeutic uses of hip hop. Welcome to the studio. My name is JC Hall. I'm a hip hop artist and therapist. I work as a social worker at a Second Chance High School in the South Bronx here at Mott Haven Community High School. I've been running this program here for, this is year 11. Report reductions in stress, anxiety, and depression. 
better emotional expression, and improve communication with students and patients. Technology workshops, such as Breakbeat Code, use the allure of music making to teach teenagers computer programming. We also host events in the community like the Breakbeat Code Hackathon. Breakbeat Code Hackathons are free, online workshops that provide a jumpstart to the program and inspire these future tech leaders. It starts with the students learning the basics around music theory and Python, one of the most popular programming languages in the world and a valuable skill to know for future job opportunities in tech. By the end of the hackathon, students will have built a foundation in coding skills and publish their first music track. Organizations like Hip Hop Caucus are tackling criminal justice reform and climate change issues. Atlanta-based Soul Food Cypher was recently featured on CNN. They create safe spaces for artistic and human expression. Newsbeat, an award-winning podcast and media project that I co-produce, melds high-level social justice journalism with music and original rap, presenting information in an entertaining and compelling package. This is not our OG's hip-hop. But since its inception, hip-hop has gotten a bad rap. Similar to primarily Black American art forms before it, rap has been prejudicially characterized, even demonized, by some of the same media outlets and government agencies heralding it today, especially during Hip-Hop 50. Diehard rap fans of a certain age often can't get past subjective and narrowly focused critiques of today's music, but these viewpoints do little more than reinforce negative stereotypes, ironically helping undermine hip-hop's ability to reach its holistically brilliant potential. As veteran artist Karis One once observed, quote, if hip-hop has the ability to corrupt young minds, it also has the ability to uplift them. And therein lies the key. Now, elected officials, education administrators, medical decision makers, business executives, any authority figures who are concerned with improving diversity, inclusivity, and equity in their respective fields must recognize these innovative hip-hop-inspired convergences as viable methods that can address, alleviate, and in some cases eliminate social ills plaguing not only the communities that created this culture, but humanity as a whole. Similarly, fans and participants must stop forgetting that there's more to hip-hop than meets the ear. Concerns about the genre's content are important, but can no longer be where hip-hop conversations start and stop. So, as this half-century hip-hop milestone and this year comes to a close, let us turn from celebrating its musical past and endlessly criticizing the subjective quality of its musical present to finally, fully, championing its unparalleled ability to improve our collective future. Many Faces. You sick for this one. Sick Thank you. Once again, it's your man, Many Faces. I'll have a lot more along these lines coming in the year ahead. So please follow at all the places. Most specifically, check out the live stream show and associated videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're already there. HipHopCanSaveAmerica.com is where you find the podcast. HipHopCanSaveAmerica.com slash watch. We'll take you to the YouTube page where you can see all the video content like the one you just watched. Follow me on Instagram at Manny Faces Official and subscribe to the world's most informative hip-hop newsletter at ManyFaces.Substack.com. Like I said, lots more like this to come. Until next time, peace and love to you and yours.